for pomegranate. You can't do the grafting. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you find that actually so in a ungrafted. The oh. ones that are just so, so there's the cuttings. And then ungrafted. That and then ungrafted. Yes. Yeah, the one which you plant from the seed. Ah, yeah. and of course with that it takes a longer time. Yeah, the seed one will take a very very long time because uh, normally you usually give it a at most six to seven years to have your first production. What? Yes. <laughs> uh huh. And now for the cuttings. For the cuttings, we usually give them around one and a half to two years. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you find that is a difference of around two to three years. Yeah. When you compare the two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that is uh, now the planting stage. Mm -hmm. uh, depending with the, how patient you are or how what you need, yeah. it, it will. You know which direction. Yeah, which direction to go. Okay. So the moment you go the cutting way, because I'll dwell on the cutting way, because for us as Oxfam, mm -hmm. we do produce pomegranates uh, through cuttings. Through cuttings, yeah. okay. So when you go the cutting way, uh, you'll do the planting the same way. Uh, the first, because the whole size is actually two feet yes. deep, two feet wide. wide. So the lower one feet, you take, uh, you get rid of the, the subsoil. Mm. The top soil, you mix it with the manure. Mm -hmm. Then you fill the lower one feet. Okay. Then you take the pomegranate uh, seedling, mm -hmm. then now you plant it. Mm -hmm. Then now you fill the hole with the remaining portion of the mixture. With the mixture with the manure. Yeah. Top, sorry. Okay. Then another thing, because these ones are you are, you are producing them through cuttings, mm -hmm. the moment you are removing or yeah, removing it from the potting bag, yeah. you have to ensure you handle it with care because these are cutting. Mm -hmm. So you, you have to ensure the soil that was in the potting bag remains intact. Oh, so you, you'll transfer it like that? To yeah. the hole. So you just ensure you don't interfere with the root area, mm -hmm. but you ensure you don't uh, plant it with the potting bag. So you remove the potting bag. Yeah. So do you do you need to water it before just so that you can have it intact, or you can just? Uh, normally, what usually advice is, uh, it's good you first remove it, then you water it on the ground. Because if you water it first, then there's a possibility of the soil kutawanyika uh, kutokana. Mm. But even when you remove it when the soil is still dry and intact, then there's a higher chance you'll, there'll be no, low minimal uh, interruption with the root area. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we've planted it. Do we now water? Is watering now a must every time that you plant? Uh, yes, watering is a key factor because okay. uh, that is a change of environment. So you have to ensure where you're taking it, the environment is conducive. Okay. Yeah. So, and in case that area, of course, because you've said warm areas are better, mm -hmm. rain, do we now go into irrigation? Can we now irrigate, practice irrigation on the pomegranate? Uh, yes, you can practice irrigation because mm -hmm. we find uh, most people, uh, for those who have, let's say, uh, lances of an acre, mm -hmm. most will find them using uh, these uh, bottle, mm -hmm. yes. more like a drip, mm -hmm. bottle drip irrigation. Mm -hmm. Then there are those now who will is install the irrigation, yeah. the drip irrigation yeah. itself. Yeah. So, depending on the acreage, uh, one usually tries to find out which one is efficient and economical. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we've planted, uh, we've put in the cutting, we've watered it. Yes. So when we do all of that, mm -hmm. how now do we start carrying it from that young age to get to where it is? For example, like this one. Yeah. So what, 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 what are the requirements? What factors should we consider as you take care of that pomegranate as it's, as it's young? As it's young. Yeah. Since uh, I mentioned earlier, you find the warmer and hotter region is where it does best. Mm. So at its tender stage, mm. first really encourage you to incorporate mulching. Mm. Uh, that is applying mulch around the root area, as you can see here. Yes, 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 yes. So the purpose for the mulching is to reduce the evapotranspiration rate. Because mm. you find at that tender stage, it requires much water and also the temperatures are high. Yes. So you find the mulch, at least it reduces the rate at which you irrigate it. Ah, it contains like the moisture. Yeah. So if any, like if you irrigate it now, uh, maybe you'll come tomorrow evening or maybe the other day, the next day, mm. so that you irrigate again. Mm. So you make sure you don't overwater. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So does mulching continue even as the plant continues? Because with this tree, I can see there's still a lot of mulch. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, for mulching, normally, find uh, yes, it can continue depending with how you find it fit. But uh, at some stage, you might find the tree is now big enough to find it for itself because the roots below, you find they actually they have spread. Yeah. So in some way, they can be able to source water from beneath on their own. Yes. Yeah. So the mulching uh, normally is actually just advisable during the early stages. Mm. Or rather, you can say maybe during the first year. Yes. Yeah. All right. So we do the we've watered, we do mulching. 
now we get to know the plant itself as it's growing. Yeah. Do we now take now how to take care of the tree itself? Different things that we can do because of course we can see like this one, some leaves are everywhere, the plant continues to grow. Yeah. We have uh, a string that's holding them together. Yeah. yeah. So uh, ex explain to us about all of that now as the tree is growing. Yeah. So normally what happens is I find uh, what most farmers forget is because this is a tree, when they plant it, they usually forget the regular addition of manure. Mm. So you find that's actually a key thing because yes. that tree, the moment you have planted it, it depletes the manure which you planted it with, uh, initially. Yes. So if you don't keep adding the manure, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. that tree, you'll find it uh, kind of in a way of an uh, unhealthy state. Mm. In answer to nyauka and curling. So normally, it's really recommended to mm -hmm. But How that is usually... Okay, what happens is uh, I find uh, after around every six, seven, eight months, okay. you have to come and add manure regularly. Mm -hmm. What happens is uh, you can come and dig around the root area because still the tree is young yeah. and uh, apply the manure, then try to mix it with the soil. Mm, pole pole, but yeah, carefully. carefully. Yes. Then uh, you can apply the, you can irrigate it. So you find that when you irrigate it, at least uh, the nutrients, they can some way per percolate mm. beneath to the root area. Mm. Then you now you return the mulch on top. Ah, uh -huh. yeah. so now is it, is, is it now for me as a farmer to, to monitor and see, okay, after six months we add manure, do you also monitor how your tree is, is yeah. growing? Yeah. Okay, for you to know when, because at, at this stage, do we still need to add manure? Uh, not really. At this stage, uh, the tree is fully grown okay. and it can fend for itself. Unless mm -hmm. you come and find this tree maybe in some way, it's either attacked by certain disease or maybe it looks mal malnutrition. Then that's when you can be able to tell maybe this ground or this farm, it's uh, in terms of nutrition status, it's depleted. Yeah. Then that's something that you have to do for the whole farm generally. Ah, yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. And you've talked about um, disease, malnutrition, and which is something that we'd like to know about the pomegranate, yeah. especially because they say it's one of the easiest yeah. fruit trees to, to farm. Yeah. But before that, we'll be taking a quick break. We'll be right back. Leo jioni katika upeo wa TV47. Serikali ianza mpango wa kumrudisha nchini mshukiwa wa ugaidi aliyekamatwa DRC Congo. Wanaazimio wa kitakambi Nairobi huku kikosi cha Kenya kwanza kikiendelea kampeni zake limuru. Tumeunganisha ndio tushinde hii uchaguzi round 1 na 70%. Yale kwao Mana ni mekuta tombo. Ama unaitua nani ya kutua hili. Kuzi yon kitoka. Mvongo. Ndiyo ujuka natoka. Na tutakueleza ukweli kuhusu mawaji ya nawendelea kushuhudiwa kaunti ya lamu. Usia kubalia maumivu ya misuli kukatiza ratiba yako. Kaluma Pain Balm ni dawa ya kusugua ilio tengenezo kutoka kwa miche malum ili kutuliza maumivu ya misuli. Kaluma Pain Balm. Shhh. Maumivu ya kisidi, pata ushauri wa daktari. You are watching TV 47. The home of untold stories. Welcome back. For those who are joining us, we are talking about pomegranate, or as we said, famously known as cuckoo manga. And now here with Cliff, we're talking about the planting process of this particular fruit tree. And now we get into the pests and diseases, and definitely that's part of management. So we'll talk about the pests and diseases, uh, why we have the string which we had earlier mentioned, and so on. So let's talk about the pests that and the malnutrition you were talking about. Yeah. Okay, uh, for the pomegranates, uh, you find uh, the most uh, stubborn pest because, okay, most people will not see a bird as a pest, but that's a pest. That's a pest, yeah. yeah. 
especially because of the matunda. Yeah. Yeah. Because you find a buzz normally they usually attracted with things that are colorful. Uh -huh. And you find when the pomegranate is fully ripe, it usually yes. has a very appealing look. Very bright. Yeah, very so bright. It, 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 it seeks its attention. Yeah. Yeah. So one is uh, the birds, mm -hmm. but of which you find uh, most farmers, uh, some will try to put uh, the, the, usually these trap nets. Mm. Or which uh, you might find every fruit uh, in a fungua with a certain net to protect it. Ah. Then uh, there are those who are like a scarecrow, of which uh, nowadays uh, <laughs> become a bird, they may evolve. So they are like yeah. they do a tricks. Yeah, <laughs> but normally that's actually the critical stubborn pest. Yeah. Then another thing you usually find, uh, you might find some other fruits in the crack. Even you are tembea kwa shamba na pata pomegranate in the crack, like come to you. But see, at in Indege, Indege. Indege. See Indege, uh -huh. Uh -huh. normally what happens is when these pomegranates are, uh, how you care about, how you care for them, okay. it also matters. Uh -huh. Yeah, you might find a farmer has pomegranates on his farm. So he's experiencing uh, the issue of fruits cracking, mm. but I do see that again. So for him, at a time maybe, chenya liuziwa ama the quality of the seedling. Ah, but kumbeni, but kumbeni, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you find uh, these trees, the moment uh, Eco water stress or nutrient stress. That's when you see the fruits and that crack. So you mm -hmm. find this is something a farmer has to either come and after some years to test the soil. Yes, again. To get to know what is missing in the soil. Yes. And once he knows, uh, I apply to rectify the soil situation. Mm. And if it's about to water, then uh, I just to... the sequence, some of the frequency in which he's watering. Yeah. Because at times you might find, uh, yes, uh, but when some grounds are actually dry mm. that the roots have gone so your mm. chini might be much tricky yeah okay makes sense so fruits do also have stress this is binadamu peke yake yeah true <laughs> okay so now that's still under how you manage yeah. you've already identified that these are the problems pests and diseases but also water stress nutrient stress yeah. and there's a way you can do that with yeah. a soil test doing a soil test to see what nutrients and just being regular with water yeah true so we go into now that space of kufungwa because yeah. i can see with the with the with the, with the pomegranate mm -hmm. it's not a one tree yeah like it's not it corner branches maybe yeah. and i see maybe it's because maybe they fall out well what's what's the reason of putting the string and why do we need to do that okay normally find uh the pomegranates have been spaced with a spacing of four meters four. by four meters yes and uh as you can see from beneath mm -hmm. metua, you can call them either stems or branches because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you might find that this one like on its own it's a mm -hmm. stem yeah so you find that the thing is if they are not tied close together they kind of overlap ah. and when they overlap you find that the other tree is also overlapping so you so kind of mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as the it usually impacts the proper growth Oh, so you put them together so they can grow uniformly. Yeah, uniformly. Okay. And then also to ensure there's no that competition ah, yes, for space. Ah, yes, because competing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we've dealt with pests and diseases. We are, we are managing the situation of how they are growing. Yeah. So for the fruit now, getting mm -hmm. out to the fruit, we've dealt with the tree itself. Yes. Now the produce, which is the fruit. Mm -hmm. How do we know this tree is ready to produce fruits? What do we need to look out for? Okay, to know the tree is ready to produce fruits, first, uh, it surely starts with the height of the tree and also how this, how strong the stems are. Because mm -hmm. you find this tree, because you have planted it and it's uh, one from a cutting. Yes. This tree is bound to start flowering way earlier ah, than expected. Than, than expected. And yeah. going the seed way, which would have yeah. taken longer. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, you as a farmer, you might see it flowering and it's quite short and you think it's ready, but it's not yet ready because. It's not yet strong or stable to carry many fruits. Uh -huh. So we shall advise at least to ensure the trees are around two and a half meters tall. Because uh -huh. at that height, that tree is now able to carry. It's now able to carry many fruits. Mm. So height and the strength of the, the strength, strength yes. is usually one thing to consider first. Okay. Because that tree can even start flowering even one two months after you transplanted it mm. but does that mean it's mature no no it's yeah. not ready to carry the fruit yeah and now the focus shifts into producing other than making it strong very true amazing yeah okay so now we go into now so we wait for the flowering yeah and we wait for about two years uh normally uh by the time this tree reaches uh, a year and a half mm. you'll find that uh, it's actually about that height 
two mm. to two and a half. Two to two and a half. So if we're at that stage, it's now ready to it's be ready left. It's ready now. So it's 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 mature enough yes. to start producing. Yeah. So we have the the fruit now. Yeah. Is there a certain number? Are we assured? Like let's say from one tree, you'll get this amount of pomegranates, or how 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 are we able to tell? Okay, if you find a pomegranate, even if you go to the market, normally mm. they usually weighed or sold in terms of kilograms. Okay. Uh, to get uh, a, a certified vendor selling to you in terms of one fruit, uh -huh. very hard. Uh. So you find these trees are normally, in terms of kilograms, they usually produce uh, during the first uh, subsequent years. Uh -huh. It can be around uh, 20 to 25 kgs. Mm, but you find that. Uh, yeah. Wow. But you find with the continuous uh, growth and good care, mm -hmm. it's bound to increase beyond that. Uh -huh. So you find it's something that uh, for the first few years, with good care, you can be getting within that range. Mm. Then if you continue with the same uh, practice, then the production can even increase. Can even increase. Yeah. Okay. So now with that, how are we able to know it's time to harvest? Because you talked about the, the, the birds looking yeah. at the color. Yeah. Is there anything else we need to note apart from the color? And what color does it turn? Okay, Two. for the pomegranates first, you have to understand that uh, there are actually various varieties. Mm -hmm. There are those ones which are when they are ripe or ready, mm -hmm. on the inside uh, they have the pink seeds or red mm -hmm. seeds. Mm -hmm. Then there are ones which have the white seeds. Oh, yeah. okay. So you find uh, in Kenya, mm -hmm. because of how the demand is, mm -hmm. majority measure on the ones which have the red seeds, the red seeds. inside. Uh -huh. So for those ones, for you to be able to know that fruit is ready, mm -hmm. normally the skin of the fruit is usually either red in color or mm. with a blend of orange yeah that is when you cannot the fruit is ready it's for ready. consumption okay but uh if you're doing now for commercial where but you have to have a seed mm -hmm. then that means uh, you have to have your seed when it's still at the orange stage mm. the orange color stage because mm. with pomegranate first you have to ensure you store them somewhere on party soko mm. yeah Okay. Because you know, both know, but the demand that is so far in yeah. Kenya. Yeah, yeah. So it's something that you have first to source the market. Okay. Yeah. So is do you, would you say that, um, because of the pomegranate, that a challenge, that one of the challenges they face is, or farmers face, is the lack of market? Uh, I wouldn't say lack of market. Mm. What I can say is, because uh, this is something when uh, initially it was there. Mm -hmm. Uh, you could even find it uh, just growing in people's compounds, but people never knew what it yes, is. Yes, 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 that's true. And now, because now people are realizing its economical value in terms of health, mm. uh, profitability in terms of finances, mm -hmm. now people are started embracing it. Mm -hmm. And now, because they're embracing it, we're part of the Ingina Atali, we're going to be able to do it. Yeah. So now, most people, what they're struggling is now sourcing certified seedlings for pomegranate. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Because, so, as you said at the beginning, yeah. if you mess up the first stage, you won't be able to get yeah, good fruits, okay? That's true. So, so the major problem is now find, finding certified cuttings yeah. or seeds. Yeah. Okay. Because if I now. As much as yes, in Kenya, majority of the pomegranates still being imported, mm, but we mm. also have, we, are start, we also have farmers who are now venturing mm. into it on large scale. Yes, because also in Kenya we are expecting in the long run we also be able to produce and export ourselves. Yeah, because it's something that can grow well in Kenya as the Kenyan climate suits it very it's well. It's conducive for yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Um, of course, we'd want to know benefits of the kukumanga. Yeah. <laughs> and you've talked about health benefits and financial benefits. Yeah. So you could take us through both of them. Mm -hmm. What are the health benefits? Of course, economically, you've told us a tree can do more than even 20 kgs. Yeah. So in the long run, if you take care of it, it's economical. Yeah. So take us to the financial benefit in terms of even price mm -hmm. as they are being sold in kgs. Yeah. How much is the price? How much do we expect to buy the, the pomegranate? Yeah. And also health benefits that you've talked about. Yeah. So, okay. For the health benefits, I'll start with that. Yes. Because we find uh, pomegranates are actually find among the many reasons why it's now being embraced. Mm -hmm. Health benefits is what is backing that. Uh -huh. Because we find uh, pomegranates, uh, for instance, uh, the guys with the chronic diseases, the lack of cancer, heart problems. The those ones we find are uh, actually they're using it as a medicine. Reason being, they usually blend it, take their juice on daily basis because we find it's high in terms of the essential nutrients. Yes. So you find it's very, very beneficial to 
mostly the elderly. Mm. That's why you tapata wale wazee mbani wanaitumia yeah. sana wanaikunywa sana in terms of the juice. Mm. Then another health benefit uh, what you usually believe is say that usually helps in maintaining uh, marriages. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Then uh, I think those are actually actually the, the main the ones. The main ones. Yeah. Okay. Then now into financial, probably the price. Okay. Into okay. financials, uh, you find uh, when you go to the markets, the whole the soko. Soko, yeah, uh-huh. that's the word. Yeah. When I put a kilo, it knows around eight hundred to a thousand. That's a kg. Wow. But that's the market price. Yeah. So you find uh the gate or the farm gate price what is estimated is that a kg should be ranging around uh, 300 to 500 mm. yeah that's the okay. farm gate price okay so you find if a tree you use the minimum 20 kg or maybe the 25 mm. and an acre takes to 50 then you do the arithmetics you find it won't be bad for you as a farmer yeah the only challenge is find that uh, this is something that produces uh once a year it's not uh 